Right. You have got a suit, haven't you? Hey, and make sure you have a shave and all that. I'm starting to wish I hadn't suggested this. Yes, well, you did. And I want to make sure I've completely won them over before I tell them we're engaged, so I need us looking our best. Joel? All right, Ed. What, why aren't you at work? My meeting's been cancelled, so I thought we could nip into town, get some lunch. Well, I can't. Just tell Adam you're meeting a client or something. I am meeting a client. Oh, well, you must be out to impress if you're whipping out the big guns. Oh, she is. <laughs> ah, fine. Yeah, come on. Off you go, cos I really need to get <gasps> ready, yeah? And you and all Dad, come on, shoo. Now, are you sure you don't want me to come? You might need my superior mm -hmm. expertise. Oh, thank you. Thanks, mate. Dress. No, if they say anything, we'll say we're on our way to the opera. That'll get a few brownie points. Come on. You'll be fine. Oh. Hi, thank you for coming. Oh, I, it's the least we could do. We owe you an apology. You must think we're terrible people. Reacting oh. the way we did to you and Joel, I... I hope you can forgive us. We meant no offence. I suppose part of us always hoped he'd get back together with Emily. For Maeve, you know. Of course. Yeah, I understand. And I owe you an apology as well. I mean, I was straight on the defensive. It's the lawyer in me. <laughs> We're so pleased Joel has met someone who's his equal. You seem like a very... Accomplished young lady. Uh, we just don't understand why he kept you a secret for so long. Well, me neither, to be honest. I mean, I can't imagine keeping someone like that from my dad. No, oh, you'd have a job. We're in each other's pockets. Mm -hmm. You seem like a very close family. Yeah, we are. We were too, once upon a time. We're lucky if we get a phone call once a week now. Well, we can change all that. Now we've cleared the air. In fact, I'm hoping to see a lot more of you because we... You guys ready to order some drinks? Uh, yes, please, Amy. This is Anthea and Gustav's parents. Pleased to meet you. You must be excited about the engagement meal tomorrow. You're engaged? <clears throat> I'm inviting you to the engagement meal now. At short notice. So glad you can squeeze us in. I just think you're being a little bit unreasonable. My dad says that a chocolate pudding solves any problem. I mean, he's wrong, but you might as well have something sweet whilst you're out. I'm sorry if my feelings are inconvenient. This past year, Joel's been very distant. <sighs> You've obviously been keeping things from us. <laughs> like what? Uh, our son is getting married and he didn't tell us why is that? Look, I am not looking to exclude you. The I wouldn't do that. The proof is in the pudding. We've been left out in the cold. OK, you're overreacting. Oh, says the possessive fiancé. Uh, hush. How dare you? Don't raise your voice at my wife. No, I'm going to say my piece. First of all, you've been looking down your noses at us, and now you accuse our DD of stealing away your precious son. Let me tell you something. If he's keeping his distance, it's because he wants to, and it's nothing to do with Dee Dee. Joel loves us. It has to be her. My Dee Dee is the most kind, honest, and loyal person you will ever meet. Yeah, I second that. We've been through some hard times lately, and I'm ashamed to say it, but if it hadn't been for Dee Dee, we'd have crumbled. I've just done what anyone... You've picked this family up time and time again. Yeah, you have. OK, I think that's enough of the DD Appreciation Society. Not quite. Joel's not just found a good one, he's found the good one. And he's leaving you two out of it, then you need to go and talk to him. Oh. Paint. Yeah, I think I need it. Joel's keeping his distance, that's not your fault. They can stuff their accusations where the sun don't shine. Oh, well, that's poetic. Should have included it in your speech, Dad. Oh, that'd be Joel.
You were right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I just... I wish it had gone better. <sighs> I know you love Joel. We all do. But you don't have to love his parents. Mm. I reckon that Anthea will be a right monster in law. What's she now? <clears throat> oh, uh, we we thought it'd be Joel. Um, look, I'm really sorry, but I'm tired of arguing with you. And if you don't like me, we you're just gonna. We're sorry. Again. Keep going. <sighs> Joel tends to go into himself at times. He's shut us out before, and uh, it killed us, didn't it, Gus? Felt like it. He's been quiet this past year, and we haven't known why. And so when we met you... We're not I... ashamed to admit that we've overreacted. We're sorry. You're very lucky to have a father and a brother who believed such lovely things about you. I know. And I'm lucky to have Joel too. And we really want you to be in our lives, but I, I cannot keep rowing with you. We don't want to keep arguing either. <laughs> Just promise you won't leave us out. I promise. So if the invitation is still valid? We'd like to come to your Engagement meal. Of course. Of course. Uh, but do remember, it's a surprise, so no letting on. 